affirmation is about accepting that some things are beyond my control and finding peace and letting go. And boy, <laughs> is that the journey I'm on? Um, yeah, on a regular basis, my brain is just stewing with things that I want to do. Um, ideas for the business, things around the home, you name it. And <laughs> my new life um, is that on a regular basis, I am needed to nurture this little one at any hour. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter what I have going on and what I had hoped to do and achieve during that time period. So the journey that I'm on is recognizing that there are some things that are beyond my control, including when baby girl needs me, um, when her schedule doesn't align with mine, and that is also gonna mean that I'm going to be shifting some of the goals that I had, some of the things I wanted to get done and to achieve week by week, day by day. And that's beyond my control because what I refuse to do is to burn out by being there for her in healthy ways and then every moment that I have to myself, squeezing in, squeezing in, squeezing in productivity rather than reframing my current reality and utilizing when I have, like when I have space to utilize it well, but to also let go of some of these things I think I should be doing right now. I'm learning to make a list, write it down, and when I have more capacity, I can come back to it so those ideas are not lost. But I'm also just learning to let go of the idea that I need to be productive in this way constantly um, and that my productivity is going to ever look the same now that I have this new life that I'm nurturing. So that's what I'm working on. Recognizing that there are some things that are absolutely beyond my control. I'm going to be making peace with letting them go. And I'll tell you the beginning of the week, I was still working through that. <laughs> but this morning I woke up, it's the first day of a few days where it's just me, my wife and little baby M. And we don't have my mom coming by to assist. But I woke up so like, refreshed and ready rather than frantic and upset. And I know it's because I've been utilizing all my tools <laughs> at the beginning of the week to really make sure that I'm working on my mindset so that I can be fully present and really honor the time that I have right now. So how are you being mindful of the things that you can control? How are you using your energy in that direction? And when it comes to the things that you can't control, how are you making peace with it, letting it go? But also, especially when you think about big worldwide things, right? As we're currently navigating the levels of state and international violence, um, genocide, exploitation, the effects of colonialism in our world. How are you looking at those situations, not from throwing your hands up and saying, I have no control, but rather saying, what can I do in my locus of control to impact those situations? So that your actions that you take, you're using your energy towards things that you can impact, things that you can control, even in situations that feel like they're way beyond your control. Have a good and blessed day, y'all. I'm going to try to keep taking this peace that I'm feeling throughout the rest of the day for me. Also, don't you just love all of the mahogany little shirt decorations she gave me? <laughs>